Hi everybody, welcome back to Rust on Console. This is on my Xbox Series S, and in this video, I want to talk about admin commands and how you can access them. How do you turn them on on your server so you can go into the pause menu, hit the admin uh, option, go into the options button, um, and you can go into, for example, admin control. You can give yourself god mode, um, you can vanish, um, you can uh, spawn items into the world to yourself or to people on the server um, you can also uh, open up the uh, command list panel um, um, probably you know the most exciting thing of on this one is you have things like the debug camera where we can execute that command and then we can fly around the server uh, to our heart's content and even actually what we can also do is if we have access to admin commands and come out of here let's go back into this bit open command this panel let's turn off uh, camera debug when you go into your map you can also teleport around the map as well so we can just press click in our left stick and we can say teleporters there and there we go, we've teleported it across the map. So very, very powerful commands, into which I'll go into a lot more detail in other videos. But how do, how do you get this set up? Well, if we go over to our server, what you want to do is go into the server settings. And I don't think it's quite working exactly as it should at the moment. So if we scroll down, you get to the custom boot commands. Now, what I've got here is the custom boot command that I have that, that kind of work, but they don't really work as a custom boot command, but uh, but I've got them there. Now, that might sound a bit confusing, but what you have with your Rust uh, G-Portal server is you have something called the console. Um, so if you click on the console option here, you, you have this. And this is where you're directly entering commands into the server so if you imagine the program that's running the server is rustserver.exe for example that's running away and, it, and it's chundering along looking after the server and in here you can type things so for example i can type whitelist and that will tell me um who's on the whitelist so at the moment the only person on the whitelist is user scale speeder so what we need to do is we need to type into here the commands to give ourselves ownership of the server um, admin controls and whitelist as well when we're an owner of a server we have the admin controls anyway but I'm, but I'm going to show you now I think the way that it should work is that the custom boot commands that you see here should work on a server restart but I think maybe they only work on a server wipe okay so that's why we have to do it um, manually now it's very important that you have your owner ID put in and um, and then you have admin ID but it's very important you have your global whitelist as well if you've got the whitelist turned on so you've got whitelist turned on make sure you, you put your username that so even if you're the owner make sure you whitelist yourself as well now the other thing that's a little bit odd is the fact that there is a little bit of debate about whether your um, Xbox or PlayStation username should be in inverted commas so should it be like that or should it be like that okay now from my experimentation I found that I don't think it should have inverted commas around it I found it I think it should just be like that so it should be owner ID space your username admin ID with the ID is capital and the A is capital your username and then global dot whitelist ID space username and then that other one that's my alternative that way now in the description below this video I will put in a link to the um, Rust wiki about this, but again, I don't think you need the inverted commas at the beginning and the end. And also, I'll put a link to the wiki about the various commands that you can use as well. So, what you want to do, and in the link below this, in the description below this video, I'll um, have these uh, commands there. So, let's just scroll up here. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to do the owner ID command and you can copy this from the description below this video so we go to the command line and we just type owner ID in my case scale speeder press enter and this is just saying 
the user is already the owner so that's good and then we'll do um, admin ID scale speed it Just copy that and paste that into the command uh, added scale speeder to admin and then if I do global dot whitelist ID scale speeder it will probably say I'm already on the list uh, added scale speed to whitelist okay and then so let's add my alternative Xbox account as well So it says, all right, they're already an admin, <laughs> so we don't need to do that. And how about the global whitelist? There we go. Let's paste that into there. Now, this is live as well. So if you were to remove someone, so you can use the command, see if we've got it here, um, global dot remove whitelist, and then their username, they will get kicked from the server pretty much straight away, I think. So that, that's another option you can have. And again, I'll have links to these below the in the video below so once you've in, entered those into the command they, they should be good to go so you can give someone live admin powers if you want as well um, and then once you're in what you should find is if it has worked you should in your pause menu menu you'll then have access to all the admin controls and you can play around with these um, and uh, as I say there's some very cool stuff as well so we could do that we could say uh, I to, let's go to admin options open admin control item list panel so let's give ourselves what should we give ourselves a bed we can give it to every everybody on the server or just me let's give it to me so if we could now go into my inventory we should see there's a bed and there is a bed at the bottom that i could use so very useful very powerful and again you've also got admin options admin control Go into admin command list panel, and you've got all these different controls that you can go through. And then debug camera, execute that. Ooh. Now we can fly around. I'm a camera invert person, so it's always a bit weird for me getting used to it. But there we go. How fantastic is that? Absolutely brilliant. Well done, face punch. Well done, G Portal. I know it's a little bit rough at the moment with the way things are happening, but this does seem to be very useful, and it's going to be very, very useful on live servers as well. So hopefully this video has been useful. See the description below this video for the, the relevant links. And if you found it useful, hit like, if you want to see more the same, press subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.